what is going on everybody my name is pete but you probably already knew that but in case you didn't you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and of course pay to drive vlogs day number 1396 coming at you with another brand new video i hope you're all doing great out there my friends so with that being said, if you are a driver in the gig economy for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy right now. So get started. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, Let's jump on into this triple Indy Thornton Mellon style. So this particular driver asked to remain anonymous. It says, if you use, please don't use my name. I will not be. So listen to this. And if anybody can relate in the chat or the comments, let me know. Hi, Pete. I never thought I would be writing to you, but here I am. I'm glad you did. So I've been dashing for almost two years, part time now. I really enjoy it. But one problem that I'm having is the following. So I get an order at 12.15, I'm assuming lunchtime or noon, uh, for Yellow Submarine Sandwich Place near us here in Georgia. $6 for five miles, not the best, not the worst. So at least you're getting a dollar per mile. There are 12 items, but two are six inch subs and two are 12 inch subs. And the rest are chips and drinks that you just grab. So total of four sandwiches. The due time is 1230. So they have 15 minutes to get there. I walked in at 1230 and asked about my order. I was told 12 minutes. There are four people in line at the moment. So I sit down and I start watching these people all get their sandwiches and leave and are replaced with five other people. And they all get their sandwiches. And finally, I ask about mine. I let the customer know they are basically putting all the in-store orders first and including anybody who, who walks in after I arrive at the due date. I tell the manager when I got my food that I let the customer know they were, that they were put there, that they were, their order was put last. He starts yelling at me and he won't stop. I'm just like, hey, I saw this with my own eyes. It was an observation. DoorDash customers are your customers too, which is 100% true. I don't understand why companies uh, such as this treat DoorDash orders as last. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's not fair to us dashers either. If they need more time, why just tell DoorDash they want 40 minutes on the due date slash time before they send the order to us? I find it frustrating that DoorDash doesn't really help on these kinds of issues. If you use, please don't use my name. Thank you. Uh, P.S. I know I can unassign, but I am top dasher. Uh, it's important to me because my market's slow and it helps me stay busy. So to this particular driver, excellent observation. Um, not all restaurants are like this, but just like you said, why is a DoorDash customer any different than an in-store customer? Technically, they're the same. However, think about it. If you are working in the restaurant and people are coming in through the door, a lot of these sandwich places, you know, it's constantly in and out, in and out. It's technically fast food, right? They are going to want to take care of the customers that are physically there before the customer that is not physically there. But at the same time, they don't realize that if customers that order through the apps are unhappy, they're not going to, it's not going to put a good taste in their mouth, pun intended, because it's sandwiches, you get it they're gonna go elsewhere. They're gonna be like, you know what? The food didn't come out right, or it took too long, or the food was cold, or whatever, whatever the case is. So with that being said, it's a very tough spot, but I will say this, maybe the, the restaurant, the submarine place was, you know, running low on, on people working. There's been a unemployment shortage right now. Um, but that should be improving in, you know, coming months, of course, because unemployment has run out for a lot of people. Um, so with that being said, this is incredibly frustrating for not only you, but for the customer and even DoorDash for that matter, because they're prioritizing the patrons that are walking in the door as opposed to the ones that are ordering from home, um, or off or their office at work or wherever they are. Um, but yes, to this person, you are correct. This is definitely an, an issue. 
Uh, so everybody watching in the chat or the comments, how do you guys feel about this? Have you seen this with your own eyes as well, where you kind of get like pushed to the side and these other, uh, you know, these other people that are physically in the restaurant are being taken care of first and DoorDash orders are being pushed to the side. Um, you know, I've, I've seen this on Grubhub every now and then, but why it's why I don't deal with it that much is because I try and build rapport with the managers, with the takeout people. Stop being a jerk to these people. If you are one of those people that just shoves your phone in their face, like, yeah, I'm picking up for Mike, you know, make sure you are being nice with these people. You know what I mean? Because at least if they see you, they're like, oh, that's the DoorDash guy. Or that's the Grubhub guy, you know, make sure that make sure his order's ready. So these are things just to keep in mind. So let me know your thoughts down below. And if you guys ever have anything you want to send me, just like this person did, send me an email at paid to drive stories at gmail.com and I'd be glad to feature you. And if you want a quicker response from me, you can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment if you would like to sign up on there. And uh, of course, anyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you so much, Ari. And of course, the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. Really, really appreciate all of you. Uh, so yeah, sign up. Patreon, links down below. And of course, everybody, I hope you are all saving lots of money with that free gas app called Get Upside. If you haven't yet, look in the bottom of the description down below. There's also a video explaining how to use it. Make sure you download it today for free on any kind of smartphone. You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today, my friends. All right. And of course, if you want one of these awesome pay to drive police t-shirts, you can get your own over at um, paytodrivestore.com. All right. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment. Of course, everything is on sale every day. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it at paytodrivestore.com. All right, everybody go check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. Very grateful for every single one of you. Leave a comment right now saying end 602, E-N-D 602. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on what channel, everybody. Comment it down below. Paid to drive and pay to drive logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Take care.